What's up guys? Hope you're all doing well. Today we are in the bathroom, not the beauty room. <laughs> uh, that's because we're doing this man's haircut. He's looking a little bit like a scrubby man. Scraggy, baggy, maggy me. <laughs> we love him like that, obviously. <laughs> but we're just gonna trim him up and I thought it'd be really fun to bring you guys along with us on kind of what we do for his haircut. I've just been cutting his hair since the pandemic and- She's the best barber. Probably not gonna be seeing a barber because I've gotten that good. Abby's the best. <laughs> no, it's, him, baby. it's been really, really fun. So I've actually had a few people reach out on Instagram and say, hey, you should do a little video based on how you do Wade's hair. So it's not very complicated. I'm not a, a trained barber or a cosmetologist or anything like that. Um, this is just kind of what I've been doing since I went to makeup school. I did go yeah. to school to be a professional makeup artist. So I have some tips and tricks um, for styling hair, but I don't cut and color typically with this one exception. So we're gonna film it for you guys and show you all of our little tips along the way. And make me look good, please. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay, so we thought we'd do a little before and after. This is what we're working with. Lots on top. Wade has really um, fine hair, so it's not super coarse. So I like to leave it a little more full in the top and the back. He's a little thinner on the back, but um, the sides always grow in really, really full. So what I like to do is actually keep a really tight line here and I'll go in with the trimmers and kind of define that even more. But I actually like to gather most of this on the top and we're just gonna trim a little bit, but keep it pretty full and then bring the sides um, way cleaner and way tighter. And then we'll trim this beard too. It's getting out of hand, bro. Okay, so the set that I have is just this little one from Wall. Um, I think you can get these at Sally's Beauty or pretty much anywhere. I'm pretty sure I got mine from Target. But inside here, it's pretty messy. I just like to keep the other beard trimmer. And then I also have a little brush to dust off um, like around his face so the little hair doesn't get in there. And then you have all these different um, little measures too that you can um, apply to the buzzer. Okay, so there's a bunch of different little shields here that you can use for Wade's cut. I like to just do an eighth or three millimeters. And these just kind of pop on and pop off of the little razor here. So this is the one that I like. It's really high powered. It works great for what we need. Um, yeah, so let's plug it in and get going. Let them know that we're cutting hair on a Sunday evening. Wow. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so first thing, first thing we're gonna do is actually put his hair up. I like to section the top part off um, just so that the majority, it doesn't have to be all of this, but so the majority that we wanna keep long is kind of up and out of the way. This is it guys, this is the hairstyle. This is it, done. done. Uh, no, but so I have these little clips too. I'm actually gonna use these to pin any loose little longer bits. So this little razor is awesome. It has a nice little on and off switch. So we're just gonna switch that on really nice and quiet. And now you can kind of see, I'll zoom you in here. You can kind of see where on the side where his hair is longer and that's what we're tidying up. So I always like to start about at the top of his ear just to kind of give us a good feeling of how far we're gonna go up. So I have my little um, number one guard on and I'm just gonna start along the ear and I'm actually gonna like protect his ear so I don't nick him for any reason. And I'm just gonna go upwards really slowly. Good thumbnail. <laughs> okay, so you can see right away the difference here of like what it used to be, how scraggly and crazy this was versus how um, neat and tidy the new length is. So we're just going to continue this. So this is just our first pass, so no worries if all the lengths aren't the same. I can see here this is a little longer. You can always go back in later too and we'll tighten this up. But for now, we're just gonna take off most of this length. Turn your head. I always like to do this in the bathroom because, and preferably over the bathtub if you can, because all of the hair kind of gets caught in the tub. Easy to clean up. Okay, so you can see here that as I'm going along the back of the head, I'm going all the way down the neck. 
So feel free to get all the stuff that kind of grows down the neck here and then we'll tighten up this line at the end. Okay, so now that we're done and we have like the base shape of his haircut, his is pretty simple. He's not really picky with like the way that he likes it faded or anything. Um, so what I actually like to do now is remove this guard. Oh, <laughs> I dropped no. it. <laughs> it's okay. So I just am removing this guard and now we're just left with like the base razor that comes with this. So this is what I like to use to clean up the lines and actually shape the back of his head. So I'm gonna have you turn around. Okay, so what I like to do is just have him start looking straight ahead, like no head down or anything like that. You want him to be looking straight because that's how throughout the day you're gonna look. So to get everything even, it's easier if they start off straight. Then I'm just gonna start, you can see like along the back of his neck, there's some of this hair that comes down. Right where that stops growing is where we're going to trim this and tighten up the back of his neck. So this won't hurt him or cut him or anything. Um, you can see like it's not very sharp or anything, but this is what I'm going to use to tighten up that clean cut look. I actually love when you cut my hair because it's so therapeutic. Yeah, it's so relaxing, huh? Yeah, it feels so good. I mean, I wouldn't know because <sighs> we're not doing that to me. Yeah, I could just run that thing over your head. Just massage me. I well, that's kind of what it is. It just feels at least, I mean, I guess it's a different sensation because it's cutting into like hair, but yeah, it just is like kind of rubbing my skin that feels really good. It's crazy because when we cut my hair, I don't even think we had this. No, we didn't, dude. What, what did, did we, we use? use? I used literally scissors for part of it. Oh, yeah. And then, no, think I, think, I think we did use that. Did we? Because I shaved your head. I took yes. like, I took, oh, so maybe yes. I must have had this for grooming actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. Well, we had something because I wasn't just like using our little beard trimmer. No, it was like right. a real, it was that one. Pretty it sure. was, yeah, you're probably right. So now that we have our lines started here, I'm going to take this on an angle and I'm just going to tighten up the way that this meets the little square angle. So anything that goes beyond the ear, we want to just get rid of. All right, so now we're just going in and we're gonna tighten up this line here. So with the guard off, I'm just gonna use this to kind of go in on an angle and just pull it a little bit tighter to his scalp so that this line is like really sharp and precise. It's just defining that line a little bit more. So it's really clean and intentional. I feel like they should make these cordless. Yeah, I know, that doesn't make sense. It does seem kind of weird. Maybe they do. I just <laughs> haven't upgraded in a while. <laughs> but you can see how much more like tight that line is now. Okay, so now that we're kind of done shaping everything here, I'm gonna take my little, this is just a little old makeup brush, but I'm gonna use this to kind of dust off his face so that no little hair particles are clinging on. Okay, so now that we have pretty much the whole hair done, we're gonna take this little ponytail out and we can see how much we have to work with on top. So his hair is really healthy um, and it holds like a good amount of product. So what I'm gonna do is just take this little band out and I'm just gonna brush through it with a comb. Mm. See how that feels and how much that's, length we wanna keep. That's great. Feels good? I feel like a whole new man. I feel like a whole new world. <laughs> now I think I'm just gonna trim. I'm just gonna take my little shears here. This also just came in that package, but I'm just gonna take the shears and trim off like maybe a quarter of an inch from the top of his hair here. I'm sandwich. The way that I like to do this is pretty spontaneous because I'm just really going in and cutting off his like dead ends. So I'm not really taking much um, volume or length off. I'm just going in to trim off the dead pieces that need a little bit of a refresher. So I'm not really giving him a full haircut, but just trimming, trimming the overgrown stuff. Cool, so you wanna leave some more on top, right? More than we had last time? Because mm -hmm. you wanna be able to do a little ponytail and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Last time we cut it really, really short. Yeah. So I couldn't do that. Let's keep the top knot abilities. Okay, so to style Wade's hair, he likes to use a little bit of this pomade. This is the Holy Black from New York uh, pomade. So this is actually a water-based formula, which is really gonna just grip the hair, but wash out really easy. So I like to take out just a little bit on my finger here, 
and just work this into kind of not my whole hand but just my fingers so it's really distributed throughout my fingers and then we'll go in on his hair and start from the back because that's where he needs the most volume and just work this into the hair cool so i just like to work that throughout his hair and then his hair tends to get really fluffy throughout the day so putting a little bit of product not too much but a little bit just kind of like grips everything and holds it in place. If you want, you can do like a slicked side thing or you can like push it straight up. We can go for a crazy spiky mohawk vibe. How do you like it styled, honey? However you do it. <laughs> That's how I like it. He doesn't actually use the pomade until I put it in. No, I do sometimes. I just like to keep it poofy and But you like playful. it like out. That's how you do it. Yeah, it's You like pull it out. I know, because it's clown vibes. <laughs> <laughs> clown man. No, we don't want any pomades. I kind of like how you're doing it. Just like. It's just worked in. It's worked so, in, but it's a little messy. Yeah. So it's playful. It has like some hair going to yeah. the side. Yeah. It's not cool. going for anything crazy. No. It doesn't need to be like super manicured, but also. Um, not effortless. Yeah, exactly. Just brush it in, brush it to the side. It's kind of his thing. Cool. Easy. Done. Okay, so we're going to do his beard now. So I'm just taking the number two shield and I'm just adding that right on and I like to kind of like clean off the hair in between. This one is going to allow for a little bit more. This is um, basically double six millimeters to come through. So for his beard right now, normally we go a little bit tighter and we um, make this shorter, but he wants to keep it kind of long and just fade it up into the haircut. So I'm right now just going to go over and just kind of even everything out and then we'll tighten up and have him shave. So this is the cedar oil from Spruce. This is perfect for beard maintenance. Um, Wade loves to just run a few drops of this through his hands and then work it through the beard. Nice, yeah, just a few drops and then rub it right in. Sweet, you're so pampered. Wow. Wow, you're so fancy. All right, so here we have it. He is a groomed. New man, so fresh and so clean. So hair is all trimmed up. You can see we got that line nice and tight. The beard is nice and evened out now. We didn't want to take off too much length, but you can see it just looks a little bit more intentional now. A little bit of product in the hair and you're fresh to death, honey. See your beard oil smelling like trees galore. Woo! Meow, 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 meow. All right, guys, we are all finished now. This man is looking so fresh and so yeah. clean. <laughs> so we just um, didn't take a lot of uh, length off the top. We just added a little bit of like dimension and mm -hmm. I just trimmed some of the dead hair on top. And then the beard, he wanted to keep a little bit more full this time. So we actually left it one length longer than the sides of his hair. And then we cleaned up his mustache and added mm -hmm. some beard oil. And now he's looking fresh and clean. And I smell like trees. <laughs> like a cedar tree. A cedar tree, yeah. Mm. He's looking fresh to death. I think we probably will do a skincare video if you guys mm. are interested because he's blessed with good skin to begin with. But um, I do use some skincare regularly on mm. him. So maybe we'll do a video. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see that. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Let us know if this was helpful or it if you helpful for me. recreate it. It was definitely helpful <laughs> for you. <laughs> All right, you guys, we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.